Hello. In this video, I would like to show you a feature of Statistics Calculator++ that lets you have multiple lists. When you have multiple lists, that means you can use any of them for a statistics measure of a list, or you can use, for example, two of them to do regression analysis on two lists. On the main screen of the calculator, you see three buttons, add X, add Y, and add Z. So basically you can use these buttons to add elements to one of these lists. So let me add a few elements to X list. So I do one, add X, two, add X, three, add X. Now if I tap on the icon on the top left that looks like a grid, it brings me to this page. So this is the statistics page. This also shows all my lists. So as you can see, the lists are named L1, L2, L3. And as you can see, it shows that X goes into L1, Y goes into L2, and Z goes into L3. So these X, Y, and Z, they correspond to the buttons that you saw on the previous screen. So let me go, for example, let me tap on the first one that is called L1. As you can see, I have one, two, three that I just added to my list. And uh, if I collapse it, as you can see, uh, L2 is, um, empty and also L3 is empty. But let's say I'm interested in creating a new list and uh, I would like to name it, for example, time. So now I have a list that is called time. So now you would be wondering how you can add elements to this list. So one way is that if you tap on time, uh, of course, it tells you that uh, the list is empty, therefore, there are no statistics to be shown. And then if I tap on the elements row, again, it shows me an empty list. But here, I can actually go ahead and add uh, some elements. So for example, if I went ahead and added a few elements, for example, 1.5, 2.3, 3.7. So let me go back. So as you can see now, I have this time which has three elements. But then it would be nice if I could also add elements to this list from the main screen. You can actually do that. And the way you can do that is by swiping left, right, on the row. As you can see, when I swiped right on this row, it gives me three options, X, Y, and Z. Let me, let me just show you what would happen if I swiped left instead. So if I did swipe left, it would give me the option to delete the list, but that's not what I want to do right this minute. So let me go back and then swipe right. And then I would like to um, basically say that if I press X, I want to add elements to this list. So if I do X, so now it shows that X goes into time. And if I go back up, you see that L1 doesn't have that association anymore. So now if I go to the main screen of the application, and if I, let's say, add 5.6, add X, 6.8, add X. Now, if I go back to my list, and if I look at time, as you can see, the elements that I added in two different ways are all shown in list that is associated to time. So let's say uh, now you have five elements in the time. And let's say I want to create another list that is called, let's say, speed. 
So I have speed and then I would like to assign this to Y so I can use the other screen to add elements to speed. So again, I swipe right and then I choose Y. And then I can go back to this screen and start adding elements to Y. So I put some numbers here. Since I plan to do regression analysis, that means that the two lists should have the same number of elements. Uh, I believe time had, okay. So now time has five elements and speed has five elements. So now on the tabs at the bottom, I tap on the regression. So here I can choose the lists to assign to either X or Y values for the regression analysis. And that's what exactly what I did. So of course I can tap on the joint statistics to see the joint statistics of, um, in this case, speed and time. And then I can also verify the elements. I can go and take a look at, for example, the scatter plots of, uh, in this case, speed versus time. And I can also go to, for example, regression analysis and look at the graph for the regression. That's it for this video. If you have any questions about what I showed you, please send me a comment below and I would be happy to answer your question. Bye.